Hello, people. You know what? I didn't realize I pressed the go live button. <laughs> this is Carla of GiggleFest University and Rayon's World of Connections. And you may also know me more likely from the Learn English by Speaking English show. And if you've been watching my this series of videos, you know that I'm working on changing my mindset because I know that in order to for money to be attracted to me, I need to be have a mindset that I deserve it. And for a good deal of my life, I did not have that mindset. And but money did come to me. I mean, I came from a family that had money. Not a, I mean, they weren't billionaires or millionaires, but we were well to do. And when I became independent, the money didn't come to me in the same way. As I grew up, Basically, anything I wanted was given to me. Maybe not as quickly as I'd want. You know, I'm a kid, was a kid. But the money came my way. And then when I began working and I began becoming independent, I didn't know how to handle money. And all the negative stories that had been, I had been told growing up about money and feeling that if you have money, you're going to be, do well. And the fact that I didn't have it, I kind of put myself down a lot. And yet I continued to be creative. I continued to go after what I needed to go after. But financially, I have always been a little delayed, may I say. I am now learning that it wasn't a delay. It was something that I needed to go through in order to really deserve what I, what's coming now. I had some really amazing things happen today. I did my show and for a half an hour, no one was there. And then later I found out there was a problem with the internet for quite a few people. And those people who normally come to the show didn't quite make it. That's cool. It happens to people. It happens in life. I did the mind gym with a really wonderful gentleman, and we spoke about spirituality and how everything in life is a part of spirituality. Everything in life has something to do with what is happening within our hearts and in our minds. And if we want our minds to be clear and pure, we need to live a life like that. We need to help others. We need to be available for other people. And we spoke about that on the mind journey, the mind gym, sorry, I keep on changing the name. And then I had an interesting thing happen. I had to go pick up some, well, first of all, there'll be no electricity for part of the day tomorrow. So I had to find a place to do the show because someone's um, electricity needs to be dealt with. So it's going to be turned off. I'll be doing the show still, but from another vent, um, from upstairs in my lobby. 
But to move on with this, the mindset that we have is what governs how we see the world. If we see the world as positive, that's what comes back to us. If we see the world as an ugly, horrible place, that's what comes back to us. But right now, when I look at the world, I see that there's a duality. We wouldn't know good if we didn't know negative, the negative, and we wouldn't know the negative if we didn't know the positive. They all work together. Opposites complement each other. But for me, what happened was I had very little money. I had to run in a urn, which was a nice distance away. And when I came back, I re when I got near home again, I really needed some gas. So with all the f few little amount of money I had in my wallet, I paid for the gas. And what happened was I got more gas than I expected. The lady in the gas station or handling the station actually gave me more gas, which told me that something was being done correctly. Then I needed to go and buy a few things to eat until the end of the month. I didn't think I was going to be able to get it, but it turned out that I had more money on one on a card than I thought, and I was able to get food to eat. And enough to get me through until Friday when I get paid again. So, you know, we always, we feel sorry for ourselves and we think things aren't going well. And instead of feeling sorry for ourselves, it's more important to see that life is going to continue. If we're meant to be on this planet more, something's going to happen and we everything will work out. If we're not meant to be on the planet, the other thing will happen. But as long as we're doing good on the planet, there's, we're always going to be given what we need to get through. And we are always going to be able to get through our lives with a smile and some laughter. Because when we smile and laugh, it's a chance to get rid of the stress and strain that keeps us from seeing things as they really are. And with that, I'm going to say goodbye. Have a good night, B-Boy. And as I said, this show is for me. If people come, fine. If people don't come, fine. But the fact that it's made public because I think there are other people going through some of the things that I'm going through. Have a good night and talk to you later. Bye.